Louis Vuitton game and Hermes singing room. Luxurious high-end brands are becoming humble. Until now, it was golden ages for the luxurious brands such as Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Gucci, Chanel, and so on. It was a luxurious dream to just take a stroll at the Champs Elysees Avenue and walk through the gorgeous brand showcases. Wow, it is really awesome just by thinking about it. But that golden age is gone. In these days, as the time flows, the generations who has the purchasing power is changing. Millennials and that generations who are teenagers and twenties advance as the strength who steer the global consumption. As following the change of the customers, business has to evolve and advance toward them. Millennials and that generations are now impacting to every inches of entire market system. But here today, I want to focus on those luxurious brand evolution. The luxurious and high-end brands are well known as their haughty and arrogant attitude, actually because that they cap their originality. But following the customers, that snobbish brand are becoming humble. Let's take a look about it. Compared to the elders, millennials and death generations do not like that much to buy and wear those high-end brands such as Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Gucci, and Chanel. They think that wearing those classical high-end brands are out of the style. Also, they think that exposing their own personality is much more important than showing off and receiving attention from the others. So, it is a matter of course that the classical high-end brands who are selling the products on offline by lining up the steady sellers on the shelves are having the hard time. Thus, recently, those brands do the marketing which they have never thought about in old days. At first, Louis Vuitton make a computer games. When they released their 2019 after the collection, they showed a computer game. They used to make an art film at the show, but interestingly, they made a game. Because the young generations do not intentionally take a look at those art films, they released a computer game for promoting this year's collection concept, the Retro. It is not even an artistic game. The game is just running and collecting the glittering Louis Vuitton logos in 1980s New York City's Night Street. I tried it, but it is surprisingly retro style. The luxury brand Louis Vuitton make a popular game which young generations can easily enjoy with for attracting the youngsters. The second, Hermes Singing Room. Hermes is opening up the pop-up store named Carré, which means scare in French. They display their famous silk scarves in public designer room. We can comfortably try the scarves and enjoy those patterns and further, we can see the expert designers doing the works. We can enjoy free snacks and singing in the karaoke, which is pronounced similar to the karaoke, the singing room in Japanese, regardless of whether we bought the scarf or not. This kind of experience are the things that we cannot even imagine in old days. The third, Chanel's Netflix movie. Chanel made a Netflix documentary to introduce the brand to the young people. The Seven Days and Out, which released recently, filmed the whole process that the late chief designer Karl Lagerfeld mapped it out the show, designed the stage, and finished his work. Rest in peace. Chanel visited the platform where the young people are gathering around and tried to persuade why the Chanel is worth enough to pay that expensive money. The fourth, Gucci's success. Gucci already gave of its grave authority and succeeded with their dramatic revival. They are chosen as the favorite luxury brand by millennials and around 65% of the 2018 sales are from under 35 years old. Then, let's take a look at how the Gucci made this amazing vernix sense. At first, whole new mentorship. First, after Marco Vizzari inaugurated as a CEO in 2015, he changed the direction of the mentoring. He led the inferiors to teach the superior, and the new employees teach the executives. The second, he made a shadow committee 
where the CEO and the employees under 30 can attend. In the committee, they discuss the agenda exactly the same as the director's meeting, starting from design to management. The third, at the regular lunch meeting where the CEO and the employees under 35 years old attends, they brought three creative ideas for improving the brands and discuss. The ideas coming up at the shadow meeting and the lunch meeting is now changing the company's policies. The second, no animal farts. At the shadow committee, they propose that the millennials who put stress on the social values hate using animal farts. The company accepted this proposal and decided to ban the animal first starting from 2018 spring season. And by following their ideas, they reversed into unisex design and made the millennials to the huge fans. The third, 24-hour call center. Compared to the typical luxurious brand selling their products only on offlines, millennials and that generation shopping on online. For filling up this gap, Gucci introduced 24-hour online call center. And there are around 500 people working at the call center who are professional sellers. The customers can experience exactly the same shopping experience as on the offline. We can ask anything such as recommendation, refund through the phone call or email messengers. Like this way, millennials and Generation Z are changing the overproduct and egotistical luxurious brand. Olga Pachanko, CEO and the VP of the Paris Paris, said on the interview with the Forbes, "Luxurious brands should start with changing their own mindset when looking to engage these very particular audiences. Historically, luxurious brands were promoting so-called culture of exclusion." Not only that there was limited access to the products, they were also deliberately detached from the final customer and reserving their communications. What we are observing today is new paradigm. To successfully engage millennials and Generation Z customers, brands have to act in the inclusive, engaging, and open manner. This requires a great deal of flexibility in communication, tone of voice, social media behavior. It all starts from within. Instead of asking themselves how to sell to those customers, brands should try and become friends with those new generations of the customers, participate in their own lives and through irrelevant channels and speak their language. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you again and see you!